Hi, my name is Luke and uh, this summer I am one of the Boys Village Directors here at Camp Hazen YMCA and today I'm going to show you around camp, uh, which is pretty exciting. I'm going to show you a little of the facilities we have here, including our, our dining hall, our program areas where we do all of our activities, also the cabins. Um, now here at camp we have two different types of camp. You can come to resident camp where you stay overnight either for one or two weeks or you can come to day camp where you just come through the day, uh, go home and sleep at home in the evenings. Um, but a lot of the facilities are used by both um, sets of campers. So uh, let's get into it. So I thought we'd start with our dining hall which is the building just behind me. This is where we eat all of our meals here at camp. Now in resident camp we eat breakfast at 8.15, we eat lunch at 12.45 and dinner at 6. And if you're in day camp you have lunch at 11.30. So let's head on in and uh, check it out. So as you can see we have lots of tables and chairs in here already. At the moment we have about 170 kids in this week. Normally in resident camp we have upwards of 250 so it gets pretty full in here and uh, pretty rocking. Uh, in day camp we have about 120 kids in a full session so um, they also eat their lunch in here as I said. Now it's a pretty impressive building with all these flags um, and uh, the way we eat meals here at camp is at these round tables we have uh, one cabin and uh, one member from the cabin will be nominated as the waiter for each day and during the meal they'll head up to the window up here that leads into the kitchen to get their food and bring it back to share it around at the table. So just out next to our dining hall, we have our day camp waterfront. And this is where day camp uh, get ready for their waterfront based activities. And we separate day camp, resident camp, just so everyone has enough room to spray out and do their thing. Uh, and it's pretty cool, as you can see there's a few groups in at the moment, as well as our lifeguards on duty. So like I said, we separate day camp and our resident camp waterfronts. And I'm now at the resident camp waterfront, which is um, just behind me. And it's a pretty exciting place, as you can see there are lots of... Uh, Canoers out in the lake, as well as people on our water trampoline, which is a new addition this summer. We also do a lot of sailing, as you can see the sailing uh, class is heading out right now. Uh, we also check in here at the bodyboard. We use the bodyboard system to ensure that you know who's in the waterfront at all times. And also right next to our waterfront, uh, we have our firing. This is where uh, we do our campfire programs at the start and end of each session. Uh, it's a good chance for the kids to uh, get up and perform in front of everybody, or just to sing a song. Now, we do have in resident camp five different program areas. We have the uh, water sports, we have land sports, outdoor pursuits, creative arts, and quest. So I'll show you where all of those locations meet and some of the activities that you can do in those uh, areas. Uh, but next I think we'll head to the girls village and I'll show you where the cabins are located. So now I'm in the girls village. This is where the girls stay if they come into resident camp. Now in both of the villages we have 13 cabins each. Um, now all of these cabins in the GV have a bathroom in them but only five of them have showers. The rest of the girls who live in cabins that don't have showers shower here in uh, most of Kualong House. So there's a shower house attached to the end of it which is pretty neat. Um, and I figured we'd jump on into cabin 12 and just take a look at what it looks like inside one of our cabins. So within these cabins we have uh, typically eight campers sleeping in um, bunks like this in this area. As you can see they've got um, lots of storage on the shelves and um, lots of room under the beds to put luggage and stuff like that. We also have two counsellors who sleep in the counsellor area just by the front door over there. They also have a lot of room and also a little desk to write out any paperwork that they have to complete. And then we have the bathroom that I was talking about. Now this is one of the cabins that has uh, a shower. So these girls use uh, this shower every evening um, to shower as well as um, they've got their own toilet which is pretty neat. Um, and so I think now what we'll do is we'll uh, jump on out and head over to Stanley Lodge which is uh, a location for some of our other activities here at camp. Yeah. 
So here's Stanley Lodge. Uh, we do a lot of activities here. Actually, down the bottom through those doors is uh, Creative Arts, where we do lots of our creative arts stuff like playing guitar or making clay or mask making, candles, jewelry, all that kind of stuff. Then just over on the other side is our um, outdoor pursuit shed. This is where kids meet if they're going to do climbing, mountain biking, fishing, all those kinds of fun things. So I think we'll jump on into the CA and have a look at what it was like in there. <laughs> Over here we have creative arts, we've got a couple classes going on, we've got melty beads going on over here, some more melty beads going on here, as well as uh, some candle making. So uh, just to the side of Stanley Lodge is the entrance to our boys village. Now our boys village, like I said, like the girls, has 13 cabins in it. Now these bottom three cabins are where our younger boys live and they all have bathrooms in them, no showers. Um, but the cabins up the top of the hill through the, up the stairs behind me, that's where our older boys live and they don't actually have bathrooms in them. They use a bathhouse that is up the hill. Um, so we won't jump in them, they're pretty much identical to the other cabin we checked out. Um, but right next to us here is uh, what we call the Quest Rock. And this is where campers meet for Quest, which is one of their activity programs in resident camp. And they complete this activity as a, as a cabin group and lots of team building stuff as well as other fun adventure stuff. So one of the great things about Camp Hazen is that everything is nice and close together. So here, as you can see, we've got the soccer field behind me. We've got a soccer class going on right now. And we just came from the boys' village, which is just over there. Then we've got Stanley Lodge, where CA and OP are. We've got the girls' village, where we came from, just over there. Cabin 12's back there. We've also got our basketball court and our kickball, baseball field. Then we've also came from our waterfront. And then the dining hall is just over the mounds over there. And then I think we'll head over this direction and check out our climbing wall, which is one of the activities that you can do in day camp or in outdoor pursuits if you come to resident camp. So here's our climbing wall. Like I said, it's one of the activities that you could do in outdoor pursuits or day camp. Uh, it's a really cool feature. A lot of the kids really like it. We've got a, a few different routes all the way up the top, um, and we've got an overhang on the other side, which is pretty sweet. Um, right next to our climbing wall, we also have our health lodge, which is where our nurses operate out from during the summer months and where kids come if they've got any injuries or if they take medications or anything like that. Um, now just over this way, we have our land sports shed. This is our fifth and final uh, program area in resident camp. And this is where all of the land sports like basketball, soccer, archery, skate park, that's, get, that's where they, uh, the kids come to meet and uh, head off to their various locations. This is also where our crosswalk is located. So there's actually a road that goes right through um, camp and we have a facilities on both sides of the road and so to get across to the other side we have to cross at the crosswalk which uh, we'll head over right now. Okay, so across the street I'm now standing in our alpine field, which is our main field uh, on this side of the road. And this is our big location for our day camp program. This is where they do check in and check out and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see we've got a, a group playing with the parachute at the moment. This is also where our leaders, which are our oldest campers, live. They're doing a leadership program and they live over this side of the street in those cabins over there. And it's home to our alpine tower, which is this beauty over here. It's another one of our climbing elements and it stands a little higher than the climbing wall across the street at about 55 feet high. It's a really fun um, thing to climb and uh, a lot of campers rate this as one of their favourite activities as well. As you can see we've got a class climbing on it right now uh, and they seem to be enjoying themselves. We'll head down here and check out our skate park and archery range now. So just behind me is our skate park. This is uh, one of the programs run out of our land sports program area. It's a really popular um, feature here at Camp Payton. You can see we've got a class going on behind us. We do skateboarding and rollerblading and it's a lot of fun. We have uh, a big half pipe just over there as well as um, a couple of ramps and uh, various rails and stuff. Um, and then just through here across this bridge we have our archery range with our uh, newly built shaded area which is pretty sweet. So let's go check that out. So here in the archery field we have our archery range with its uh, brand new shaded area which is pretty sweet. We also have the entrance to 
duck pond just beyond the range that heads out to our nice little wetland area at the back of camp. And then just behind us over here we have our Patakong village which is where a lot of the staff who don't live with kids um, live. We have our kitchen staff, our day camp staff and some of our year round staff live in these cabins out the back here. And yeah that's pretty much camp. We have a lot of uh, wooded area and forest out the back where we do a lot of our overnights and stuff like that but that's a lot of our main facilities. Um, if you have any other questions or anything like that you can head to our website um, which will be linked in the description down below this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you at camp sometime soon and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.